Hello, welcome to the HR Diary. Today, I'm going to show you how to predict staff resignation with ChatGPT. I have some employee data here. The variables that I gathered here in yellow, these are the predictors of resignation. So resignation is the dependent, it's called the dependent variable because it depends on these independent variables. Independent variables refer to age, compound ratio, travel time, and performance rating. These four independent variables can predict whether a staff resigned, is resigned or is still employed. So I have added age here because many studies have shown that the older a person is, generally the longer they stay with an organization. So I've also added compound ratio here. Compound ratio is the measure of how much an employee's salary is in relation to the market rate for their position. A staff with a compound ratio of 1 means that they are paid exactly at the market rate. A staff with a compound ratio of 0 0.5 here, it means that they are paid at the lower end of market. Generally, a person with lower compound ratio may not stay long. Travel time. Travel time is the amount of time that the employee spends traveling to work. So the travel time here are in minutes here. So several studies have found that a person with long travel time to work will not may not stay long with an organization. So if you see here, this person's travel time is only 10 minutes and is still with the still employed with the organization. Whereas this person here, whose travel time to the organization is 80 minutes, have resigned. Next, performance rating also affects whether an employee stays or not. Generally, when you rate the employee low, they may not stay. So people here who are rated 2, they did not stay. Whereas the people rated the 4 and 5, they are still with the organization. Now, if I go to this website, chat.openai.com, I will be brought to this screen. You have to log into ChatGPT to come here. To learn how to sign up for ChatGPT, you can go to my YouTube page here, the HR Diary, and check out this course. Let me enlarge it. ChatGPT Crash Course, how to sign up and use Chat. GBT. I have provided the link to this video in the description below this YouTube video. Now let's get back to ChatGPT. So this is the ChatGPT interface. Now you can start asking it questions at, in the text box here at the bottom of the screen. So let's try at the chat box type. Can chat GPT derive a logistic regression formula to predict staff resignation if I provide it with my data set. Then we can click this or click enter. So this is my question and ChatGPT said, yes, I can certainly help you derive a logistic formula to predict staff resignation based on your data set. Sounds good. All right, you can stop it from continue to type it, type by click stop generating and you can also clear your conversation by clicking here. Now let's get back to my Excel spreadsheet here. Let's select this data set. Right click, click the copy. Then now let's go back to the chat GPT screen. Go to the check box here, right click and click paste. And we can hit enter or we can click this button. So I'll click this button here. So this is what I put in and GPT 
said that they noticed that I have provided the table about employees. And not only that, they are able to explain that this staff it, it contains the employee name, age is the age, and they also explain what is compound ratio. Right? Compound ratio is a ratio to compare an employee's salary to the market rate for similar positions. A compound ratio of 1.0 means the employee salary matches the market rate. Wow, it's quite intelligent. So it can also explain what is travel time. That travel time is the time it takes for the employee to commute to work. So it knows I'm talking about going to work. Then it talks about performance rating and resign. And they, they know that resign indicates whether the employee has resigned or is still employed in the organization. So it's, it is also able to analyze my data. So it said, based on this table, it seems that Don, Ed, and Fred have resigned. Don, Ed, and Fred have resigned. While Andy, Bert, Kate, and Dave, Andy, Bert, Kate, and Dave are still employed. Oh, impressive. Isn't it? Okay, so ChatGPT can make observations about my data. Now, this table, table is difficult to read. So let me ask it to convert the above data set into a table. Staff is the reference variable. Resign is the dependent variable. The rest are independent variables with the given data set, tell me what is the logistic regression model and its coefficients using Excel solver. So let me check what I type. Uh, convert the above data set into a table. Staff is the reference variable. Resign is the dependent variable. The rest are independent variables. With the given data set, tell me what is the logistic regression model and its coefficients using Excel solver. So now let's either click this or you can hit enter at your keyboard. So to create the tape, a table from the given data set, we can arrange the data in columns as follows. Wow, see? From here, when I paste the data, it looks like this. Now I give you the instruction to convert the data set into a table and it converts it nicely into this table. So in this table, the reference variable is staff. The dependent variable is resign. Dependent, because this the, the whether this person resign, it depends on these factors, age, compound ratio, travel time, and performance rating. All right, these are called the independent variables. So to perform logistic regression using Excel software, we first need to set up the model by creating the formula. So it's creating all this formula. All right, so you can read through these. Uh, if you want to manually create it, you can read through the steps here, but it's doing, it's building it for you. It, so it creates this formula and then it creates another formula. Let's see. Oops. It did not complete gen generating the data. So sometimes you need to click on this regenerate response. All right. So it regenerates the response here. Hopefully it works this time. So it's still generating based on this instruction. Convert this data set into a table. And then the other thing that I want you to do is to tell me what is the logistic regression 
model. This is the formula that I want it to build to predict staff resonation. All right, so it built this model, then it gives me the steps to, to perform logistic regression, all right? All the steps. Okay, here, the logistic regression model with the given data set and its coefficients obtained by Excel solver would be this. Oh, so this is the formula that I, I wanted. So it's given me the formula here, right? And the coefficients. So with this formula, if you plug in the H, compound ratio, the H multiplied by this, the compound ratio multiplied by this, travel time multiplied by this, performance rating multiplied by this, into using this formula, you can calculate the probability of a staff resigning. All right? But we aren't going to use this formula. We'll get chat GPT to do it for us. So using this formula, let's ask it to make some prediction. So at this chat box, let's hide using the model you created. Tell me what is the probability for a staff H20 compare ratio 0 0.7 Travel time, travel time, 70 minutes, performance rating two to be resigned. All right, probability for eight, staff H20, comparison 0 0.7. So I have the H. I have the compound ratio 0 0.7, the travel time 70, and the performance rating 2 to be resigned. Okay, let's check it out. So this is my question here. And it plug these values into the formula for me and tell me that the... So this formula is this formula, right? Here. So he, he plug it inside and he calculate for me P equals 0 0.82, which means 82%. So the predicted probability of this employee resigning is approximately 82%, right? So because generally younger employees may not stay long, and because the when your compound ratio or your pay is below market, you also may not stay long. And when your travel time is long, like 70 minutes, you may not stay long. And when your rating is 2, you're rated not that well, you may not stay long. So this formula looks logical, looks great. Let's try another one, another example. Using, uh, I don't want to type. I can go here and let's copy this and paste this here. So let's change the age to someone older, 50. Someone who is paid well, that means a higher compound ratio of above one. And the travel time, uh, let's say 10 minutes only. And a very good rating, rating of five. All right, so this person unlikely to stay. No, no, sorry. This person is unlikely to resign. So we should have a low uh, probability of resigning. So let's see what it predicts. Okay, using this data, put inside the logistic regression formula that, yeah, it got it. The predicted probability of this employee resigning is very low approximately 0.14%. This suggests that this employee is unlikely to resign given their characteristics according to the logistic regression model. 
So great, this analysis looks logical, it's working. Okay, that's it. I hope that you find the video useful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel. Bye.